negative, Nancy, negative. No, it's not, is it? Oh.
getting any audio. Good evening, everyone. Please stand for the national anthem being sung by the singing silhouettes.
I would like to introduce the Byron Virgin Junior Senior High School Principal, Mr. Ashley John Grillo. Good evening. Good evening. We, we couldn't have gotten got a more, more perfect, perfect night than tonight. Than tonight. This, is this is such a beautiful, beautiful evening, evening to celebrate, celebrate the, class the class of 2022. Of 2022. Thank, you Thank you all for coming and being part of this wonderful ceremony. ceremony. To start, I need to recognize several people who helped make this evening possible. Thank you to Roger Caldwell and the Billings and Grounds crew. This facility is top notch. Thanks to our hardworking and dedicated grounds crew who worked so hard to make this place look great. Thank you, Roger and the crew. Thank you to my secretary, Brittany Kessler. Brittany worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make sure all the details were in place for today's celebration to happen. Her help and organization was extremely beneficial getting ready tonight. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you to all the teachers and staff at the Byron Virgin Schools. Even though tonight is a celebration of student success, this is also a night of validation of the incredible things that happen in the school buildings. Thank you, teachers and staff. Thank you to my fellow administrators for your support this, during this past school year. I appreciate all your help and I'm thankful to have a quality group to work so closely with to make sure events like this go off so smooth. Thank you, guys. Thank you to the Board of Education for laying the foundation for which we operate every day. Your dedication and commitment to this school is wonderful, and we are all appreciative of your support. Thank you. To all the families and guests in attendance, thank you for holding high expectations for these young adults and for offering a level of support needed for the success they've achieved. You are a big part of the success we are celebrating today. Your perseverance and follow through with guiding these youngsters is very much acknowledged and appreciated. So thank you, everybody. Finally, thank you, class of 2022. How about a round of applause for them real quick. My journey began with a class last August when I met with the class officers. Brooke, Caleb, Sadie, and Elena came in one summer day. We talked about bringing back the kickball game, various funds, very senior-specific activities, and even acceptable school pranks. I love that they were seeking permission rather than seeking forgiveness, so I'll thank you guys for that. A few weeks later, this group of students gathered for the senior versus staff kickball game. We enjoyed a cookout, took a group photo, and then watched Mr. Mullenkamp sacrifice his body to win the game. It was a wonderful kickoff to the school year for this class. Shortly afterwards, I received a text message from the person who took that group photo, and it was captioned, quote, you've been officially welcomed to Byron Virgin. It was a very nice photo. Everyone was smiling. But as I looked closer, I saw that our would-be Vale Victorian, Corden, had bunny ears behind my head. So, so much for using that picture. But luckily, we had other ones taken, so nice job, Corden. How to, how to get me going here. A senior fun day was planned later that fall. Miss Lux ordered a obstacle course bounce house. The PE staff opened up the high ropes course. We had yard games out for everyone to enjoy. Aiden Clark challenged me to a race to the obstacle course. I was very reluctant to take him up on the offer, but he was re resilient. He kept going, so I agreed. And in very unspectacular fashion, I lost. He was like a ninja going through that thing. Me, not so much. So fast forward to this spring, Connor Logan surprised us with a basketball hoop in the parking lot, which was then followed by a school-wide petition to bring back the hoop. There's a much longer story as to how it got there and how I may have been involved but I'll let them tell you that story. This class was fun. They looked out for one another. They were true leaders in the building this year. I couldn't have asked for a better group of students to be seniors in my first year as the high school principal. Members of this class found great success academically, athletically, in clubs and extracurricular activities. 
Member of this class received thousands of dollars in scholarships and received multiple or multitude of awards and recognitions. There's a lot to be proud of and to celebrate with this group of students. After tonight's ceremony, you will all begin the next chapter of your lives. My one piece of advice for you is to never stop learning. Continue your quest for knowledge and seek ways to contribute to society. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, but if and when you do, become a better person because of the risks you are taking. Set goals for yourself and continually work to, towards them. There's no limit to what you guys can, can accomplish. Please remember that. In closing, I want to share one final observation of the class of 2022. As you were preparing to enter the stadium tonight, I observed the joy that each of you had. I watched you straighten each other's caps and gowns. I saw hugs, high fives. I saw a bunch of friends getting ready to celebrate one another's accomplishments. Take this enthusiasm with you and out to the world and use it to obtain your goals. Continue to care about yourself, care about your friends, care about your family, and have pride for Byron Burgeon. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your journey. Class of 22, do, I wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. would like to introduce the Byron Burgeon Central School Superintendent, Mr. Patrick McGee. I heard that go, Patty McGee. <laughs> Welcome again, everyone. Uh, I'm just honored to be here and be able to say a few words about this amazing class of 2022. I would like to start out just like Ashley by just recognizing a few groups who have played a pivotal role in today's graduation. First, shout out to our buildings and grounds. This place looks awesome. If you see any of them tonight, please give them a high five, a fist bump, shake their hands, a chest bump, or just please tell them they did an awesome job tonight. We appreciate their hard work getting the stadium ready for graduation and for everything they do to make this place look top notch day in and day out. To our Board of Education, thank you for your support and for all the things you do behind the scenes to provide opportunities for our students. I greatly appreciate your leadership. To the best of the best staff in the business, and we have a lot in the house tonight and we are proud to have them here. It is in part because of the collective effort of all of you that our students are here today. To all of our families here tonight, and for those family and friends who are joining us from out of town or through Facebook Live, welcome. I can't thank our families enough for everything over the years. I'm especially grateful for the support and patience over these last two years. This is a special group and you have played such a huge role in their development, so thank you. What a beautiful night. I think we would all agree that the class of 2022 deserves a special night. I am so grateful to be able to share this day with them on our school campus for this graduation ceremony. So the class of 2022, in my words, so I guess I've been told I use this word a lot. So I'm gonna have one of our seniors stand up and say, Kenzie Eccleston, the class of 2022 is? Legit. Yes, legit. <laughs> They are legit. I was also told that I'm too old to use that word. Uh, I am so proud of each of them here tonight. Uh, just a quick side note that Kenzie kept a long, a log of words and phrases over the years from our staff. All kid friendly, of course, but definitely worth a few laughs. I think she'll be selling that thing for a lot of money someday. Thanks. To all of our seniors, I cannot tell you how sorry I am that you did not have a normal high school experience. You deserve better than that. But I am so proud of how you have rolled with the punches and kept those smiles bright. Now I've known many of you for the last, at least the last six years. I still vividly remember your seventh grade orientation in August of 2016 and saying to myself, 
as the auditorium was packed and your parents were nervous to hand you over to the junior senior high school, I better make sure these kids have a great experience. I'm not as worried about the parents in this room, but I'm really worried about feeling the wrath from some of these kids in this room if they don't feel they're getting the experience they deserve. And kudos to this class who really advocated for themselves, always giving honest feedback about how to make our school better. And hopefully because of that, you had a great experience here at BB. I hope that every day you walked into this school, you knew that people here really cared about you and your well-being and making sure that you got, mo got the most out of your years at BB. I spoke with Mr. Grillo at the start of the year as he was transitioning into his role as the new principal and I was transitioning into my new role as superintendent and he was asking me about our seniors. And I said, Ashley, I'm gonna miss being their principal, like a lot. And I love those kids and you better love them up too. And I said, Ashley, I know you are new, but don't screw up their senior year. <laughs> so thank you, Ashley, for helping these awesome kids have a great senior year. The truth, the truth is, this class has made their mark on BB. We could get into all the great individual and group accomplishments we have celebrated with this class, but the thing I am most proud about is the great people they have become. Class of 2022, we are so thankful to have gotten to know you over the years. You have such a special place in our hearts. I am so impressed with how you have persevered and handled yourselves during these unprecedented times. I personally, and I'm sure I can speak for your teachers and staff here today, have learned so much from you. And you have made me a better person, and most importantly, made our school a better place. We will miss you guys greatly, can't wait to see and hear about you changing the world for the better. Please pop by and let us know how you're doing. Much love and positive vibes your way in the future. I am so proud of you guys. Once a bee, always a bee. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage Byron Burgeon's Class of 2022 Salutatorian, Brooke Jarkowitz. Good evening. As you know, I'm Brooke Jarkowitz. And if any of you know me, I hate public speaking. I was actually really dreading this moment, but I'm doing it right now, so props to me, actually. <laughs> and <laughs> me. Uh, I did not start this speech until the day before it was due, which is actually sooner than Corden, surprisingly. <laughs> I was even trying to get inspiration online by searching up best high school graduation speeches. It didn't really work. Um, I still don't know what I want to say, but all I do know is that I didn't want it to be sappy and cheesy, but we'll see how it goes from here. Well, we all made it. This week has been a drag, waiting and anticipating for this day to come. After today, summer can officially begin. This is the last day you will see all these people together. For the past four to six years, you have walked into the high school building knowing you'll see all your friends every day. It may have been the only consistent thing you had in your life, and just like that, it's over. Our class has made some big changes for our school. We had tailgates, we had themed sports games, and we can't forget, we made yogurt a state snack. I'd also like to mention that during this school year, the girls' soccer team went to states, swimming went undefeated, girls' track and field won sectionals, and Sasha went to states. <laughs> Even though we've shared all these moments, 
we will soon be going our separate ways. Well, most of us will be going back to school for two, four years, or however long it takes to get a master's or PhD. Others will be going into the workforce. But one thing we will all share from our past is that we graduated from Byron Bergen High School together. And I would like to leave you with a quote from an inspirational poet, Pitbull, actually. Every day is a great day. Wait, I read it wrong, sorry. Every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. And now, seniors in the singing silhouettes will perform their senior song until we sing again.
Please welcome Byron Virgin's class of 2022 valedictorian, Gordon Zimmerman. Hi, everybody. So, we, the people of the class of 2022, would like to thank all faculty, staff, teachers, friends, and family for all the help and support over the years. We could not have done any of this without you guys. We could not have learned how to count or spell or learned how great yogurt was. We wouldn't have been able to see New York City or DC in fifth and sixth grade without you guys or made all the memories that came with those trips. We wouldn't have learned the quadratic formula or that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Not that we'll use it anyway. We wouldn't have become all-stars, scholars, math league champions, or mathletes for short, mock trial victors, class officers, or, or whatever else we have accomplished over the years. We would have failed all our regents and AP tests, the SAT, and many more. We probably wouldn't have survived a lot of high school, especially when COVID arrived. But the crazy thing is, we did. We did survive. Everyone here graduating today has done something great, and it's because of your help. Many teachers, counselors, and friends helped us, helped to give us the mental fortitude to keep pushing forward and to get to this stage in life, helped to give us the mental fortitude to keep pushing forward and to get to this stage in life and this physical stage here. So because of that, the class of 20, 2022 would like to thank everyone that got us to where we are today. As we go out from here though, Many of us will be losing our long-standing support systems as we go to college or into the workforce. So it's important that we keep the connections that we can while building new, healthy relationships in this new chapter in life. We will all continue to do great things. Well, maybe not the psych majors, but, but anyway, we need to remember to keep giving thanks to those that helped us move forward in life and continue to thrive. So always remember, confidence, courage, and Clark, boy, wait, no, sorry, um, live, Laugh and love. Wait, no, not that one either. Oh, yeah. Be loud, be proud, and be positive. Thank you. I would like to introduce Mr. Nick Mullenkamp, one of our senior class advisors and current economics and participation in government teacher. I have two awards to present. The first is the American Red Cross Blood Services High School Scholarship. This award is given to a graduating senior who has an active participant in the school's blood drive program. This year's scholarship was based on blood donation and work from the Matthew Cota Blood Drive. Thank you for helping in continuing this scholarship this year. This award is given to two students who are continuing his or her education after high school. Actually, three, three recipients. This year's recipients are Madeline Pym, Elena Streeter, and Sasha Schramm. The next award is the Byron Virgin Faculty Association Award. Before I introduce this one, I'll say on behalf of all of your teachers that we are extremely proud of you all and we look forward to continuing to be proud of the great things you accomplish. So congratulations. This award is given to one or more outstanding seniors accepted into an institution of higher learning who have demonstrated the ability and interest to complete such a program as well as having displayed exceptional school citizenship. This year's recipients are 
Aiden Clark, and Caleb Carlson. I'd like to present Mr. Ashley John Grillo, our junior senior high school principal. The next award is the Byron Burgeon Administration Scholarship. This scholarship is given to one senior who exemplifies our district mission of pursuing a lifelong commitment to personal and academic achievement and strong character. The recipient also demonstrates the ability to further their desired educational program at an institution of higher learning. This year's recipient is Sadie Cook. I would like to welcome Mrs. Regina Nelson to the stage. Hello, everyone. I'm here today to hand out an award in honor of my mother, who was a longtime community member, board member, and she was known for constantly in encouraging and inspiring students to reach their full potential. This year's recipient is Mackenzie Eckerson. Mackenzie will be attending SUNY Plattsburgh to study chemistry, and I've been told by others that she has an authentic personality, which I can already see, <laughs> and this amazing energy, which makes her a perfect recipient of this award. So, congrats. I'd like to invite Mrs. Karen Lashbrook to the stage. I am here to present the uh, Derek Carey Sheldon Memorial or Scholarship, <laughs> I can't talk, <laughs> given in the memory of Derek Sheldon, class of 2012. Derek loved life's challenges and hard work. He had a passion for agriculture, mechanics, and wildlife conservation. The recipient has demonstrated an ambition to continue these studies in one of these areas and display an energetic, outgoing, and caring personality. This year's recipient is Connor Gale. want to say, look twice, save a life. I would like to welcome Mr. Gary Hilbert to the stage. Mr. Hilbert is handing out the Sackett Merrill White Post 575 American Legion Scholarship. This award is made annually to an outstanding member of the senior class. The scholarship committee selected a student who demonstrates the qualifications of courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service. This year's scholarship recipient is Grace Hoon.
I would like to now introduce Mr. Jeff Parnaby to the stage. I'm happy to award the Byron Birch and FFA Alumni Supporters Scholarship to active FFA members that have contributed a great deal of dedication and leadership to the local FFA chapter and agricultural community. The recipients will also be of high integrity and an inspiration to younger FFA members. This year's scholarship recipients are Rachel Bass and Madeline Pym. Before we begin awarding diplomas, I would like to note that the award descriptions can be found in the program. We will also be inviting faculty and staff members with a graduating senior to the stage prior to their senior walking to present them with their diploma. Also, graduation photo ordering information can be found in the program as well. Now, I would like to introduce Ms. Ashley Hill, the school counselor for the class of 2022, and Mrs. Morgan Marcello, the junior senior high school assistant principal who will be introducing this year's graduating class. Gordon Zimmerman. Gordon is attending Roberts Wesleyan College to study music education. Gordon also graduated from SUNY Genesee Community College with Dean's Honors and received an associate's degree in natural science as part of the STEM Flex degree program. He is the recipient of the Clint Cooper Memorial Scholarship, the Dora M. Jones Scholarship, and the Ralph and Minna Gillette Scholarship. Corden Zimmerman. <clears throat> Brooke Jarkowitz. <clears throat> Brooke is attending Clarkson University to study engineering. She is the recipient of the Clint Cooper Memorial Scholarship, the Leo J. O'Neill Memorial Scholarship, and Mary Ride Memorial Attendance Award. Brooke Jarkowitz. I would like to invite Jen Van Valkenburg to the stage. Ella Van Valkenburg. Ella is attending the University of Vermont, <coughs> excuse me, where she is undeclared in the College of Arts and Sciences. She is a recipient of the Gillum Educational Fund Scholarship. Ella Van Valkenburg. I would like to invite Carolyn Pym to the stage. <laughs> Colleen, sorry. Madeline Pym. Madeline is attending Penn State University to study agricultural business and management. She is the recipient of the American Red Cross Scholarship, the Virgin Rod and Gun Club Award, Byron Virgin Student Council Scholarship, Byron Virgin FFA Alumni and Supporter Scholarship, and the Tom Covington Memorial Agricultural Scholarship. Madeline Pym. Madison Burke. Thank you. 
Madison is attending SUNY Monroe Community College to study computer science and is a recipient of the Clint Cooper Memorial Scholarship. Madison Burke. Ellie Shalamano. Ellie is attending SUNY University of Buffalo to study biomedical sciences. She also graduated from SUNY Genesee Community College with Dean's Honors and received an associate's degree in natural sciences as part of the STEM Flex degree program and is the recipient of the Arthur Rowe U.S. History Scholarship. Ellie Shalamano. Caitlin Windhauser. Caitlin is attending SUNY Genesee Community College to study nursing and is the recipient of the Burgeon Grange Award. Caitlin Wittenhauser. <laughs> Sasha Schramm. <laughs> Sasha is attending SUNY University of Buffalo to study kinesiology and is the recipient of the American Red Cross Scholarship, the Clint Cooper Memorial Scholarship, and Ralph and Minna Gillette Scholarship. Sasha Schramm. <laughs> Elena Streeter. <laughs> Elena is attending Hartwick College to study nursing and is the recipient of the American Red Cross Scholarship. Elena Streeter. Grace Shepard. Grace is attending the University of Cincinnati to study marketing and communications and is the recipient of the Alfred K. Sheldon Memorial Leadership Award and the Byron Burgeon Student Council Scholarship. Grace Shepard. Caleb is attending Niagara University to study business management and is the recipient of the Francis J. and Ethel A. Miller Memorial Scholarship. Caleb Calhoun. Sadie Cook. Sadie is attending Marist College to study business administration and finance and is the recipient of the Byron Burgeon Administration Scholarship. Sadie Cook. Isaiah Wade. Corinne Abdella. Corinne is attending SUNY Genesee Community College. Isaiah Beatty. Isaiah is planning to enter the workforce. Isaiah Beatty. Jared Barnum. Jared is attending SUNY Canton to study forensic criminology. Jared Barnum. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Jason Best to the stage. <laughs> Rachel Best. Rachel is attending the University of Finlay to study animal science and pre-veterinary studies. She is the recipient of the Burgeon Volunteer Fire Department Student Volunteer Scholarship, the Byron Burgeon FFA Alumni and Supporter Scholarship, and the H.E. Turner & Co. Funeral Homes Community Service Award. Rachel Best. Cameron Brookhart. Cameron is attending Syracuse University to study communication and rhetoric. Cameron Brookhart. Peyton Bazell.
Peyton will be entering the workforce. Peyton Bazell. This time, I would like to invite Kim Carlson to the stage. Caleb Carlson. Caleb is attending Houghton College to study business administration and is the recipient of the Burgeon Rod and Gun Club Award, Byron Burgeon Faculty Association Award, and Steele Truex Scholarship. Caleb Carlson. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Aaron Clark to the stage. <laughs> Aiden Clark. Aiden is attending SUNY Genesee Community College to study physical education and is the recipient of the Burgeon Grange Award, the Byron Burgeon Faculty Association Award, and the Ida Casewell McEwen Award. Aiden Clark. Destiny Cologne. Destiny is attending SUNY Purchase to study theater and performance. Destiny Cologne. Leanna Kurtz. Leanna is attending Villa Maria College to study fine arts and is the recipient of the Earl Almquist Family Art Award. Leanna Kurtz. Jeremy Donahue, Jr. Jeremy will be entering the workforce. Jeremy Donahue, Jr. Alexander Donnelly. Alexander is attending SUNY Monroe Community College to study mechanical engineering and is the recipient of the Jerome G. Spitzner Memorial Science Award. Alexander Donnelly. Mackenzie Eccleston. Mackenzie is attending SUNY Plattsburgh to study chemistry and is the recipient of the Lori A. Nelson Award. Mackenzie Eccleston. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. April Dolph to the stage. Camry Elliott. Camry will be entering the workforce. Camry Elliott. Connor Gale. Connor is pursuing a career as a heavy equipment technician at Livingston Associates and is the recipient of Brad A. Hoban Memorial Award, the Derek K. Sheldon Memorial Scholarship, and the William F. Angle Scholarship. Kiara Grippo. Kiara is attending Duville University to study health humanities. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Lisa Haller to the stage. Christian Haler. Christian is attending SUNY College at Brockport to study general studies.
Sarah Hanel. Sarah is attending Medai College to study veterinary technology. Braden Hickey is pursuing a career in underwater welding. Grace Hume. Grace is attending Virginia Tech to study national security and foreign affairs and is a recipient of the Clint Cooper Memorial Scholarship, the Hesperus Lodge number 837 FNAM and the Hesperus Chapter 823 OES Scholarship and the Sackett Merrill White Post 575 American League Scholarship. <laughs> Megan Kendall. Megan is attending University of Pittsburgh at Bradford to study nursing and is the recipient of the Reese Memorial Scholarship and the Sarah Bateman Memorial Scholarship. Cole McAllister is attending SUNY Genesee Community College to study social sciences. Victoria Nimi. Victoria is pursuing a career in nursing. Danielle Nowachik. Danielle is attending SUNY College at Brockport to study social studies education and is the recipient of the Helene Forsyth Huff Memorial Scholarship. Logan Pocock. Logan is entering the workforce and is the recipient of the Brad A. Hoban Memorial Award. Are you gonna fall too? Are you gonna fall too? No. <laughs> Michaela Pocock. Michaela is attending SUNY Finger Lakes Community College to study kinesiology. Brenda Ramos Francisco. Brenda is entering the workforce. Elissa Robbins. Elissa is attending SUNY Finger Lakes Community College to study social studies education business. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Vicki Schallenberger to the stage. Aaliyah Schallenberger. Aaliyah is attending SUNY Buffalo State College to study television and film arts and media production. Caden Sheard. Hayden is pursuing a career in the Carpenters Union. Molly Sims. Molly is attending SUNY Canton to study criminal investigation. Carly Singer. Carly is entering the workforce. Jory Strelacki. Jory is attending Roberts Wesleyan College to study psychology. Alexandra Verraro. Alexandra is attending University of South Carolina to study psychology and is the recipient of the Francis J. and Ethel A. Miller Memorial Scholarship and the Sunshine Award. Hallie Wade. 
Hallie is attending SUNY Genesee Community College to study psychology. <laughs> Colby Walker. <laughs> Colby is attending Medi College <laughs> Nicholas Walters. <laughs> Nicholas is entering the Madison, Madison is pursuing a career in dairy processing. At this time, I would like to invite Ms. Tina Riddell to the stage. Ashley Wiet. <laughs> Ashley is pursuing a career as a patient care technician. <laughs> Allie Wilcox. Allie is entering the workforce. <laughs> Emma Will. <laughs> Emma is attending SUNY Genesee Community College to study entrepreneurship. Hayden Williams. Nathan Wolf is entering the workforce. At this time, I'd like to invite, invite Jen Zastroki to the stage. Caitlin is attending SUNY Genesee Community College to study elementary education. Class of 2022, please stand. I would like to introduce Mrs. Deborah List, Board of Education President for the De 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 Declaration of Graduates. Okay, everybody, by the power vested in me as the President of the Board of Education, and by the Board of Regents of the New York State Education Department, those seated here tonight have completed the requirements in order to, grad to receive their diplomas. I am honored to declare you graduates of Byron Bergen High School with all the rights and responsibilities associated with this honor. Graduates, you may move your tassels to the left. Please join us in singing the alma mater, which can be found in the program.
I would like to invite Mr. Grillo back to the podium to give final remarks. That's 2022, congratulations. One more round of applause, please. Friends and family, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming and being part of this special celebration. After the procession, feel free to mingle, take pictures, take this opportunity to celebrate. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. Take care. Yeah.